It was only like two weeks ago. He hit me up. And he said, yo, what's up? Can I come work with you? I said, yeah. You know what I mean, just let me know what's up. I'm like, where you at? He like, I'm in Michigan. He come down. Would it be cool? Ryan Gotti. Joe, what's up, Joe? How you feeling? And the kid... I'm thinking he bullshit, and I'm like, man, you know, people hit me up all the time on the gram, all the time. My DM is full of people asking questions and people that want to pull up, and I appreciate it. I really do. But this guy hit me up. I'm thinking he bullshitting. He asked for the address. A couple days. I'm thinking it was a flash Friday. So last Friday, we in the gym. It was getting kind of late. We wasn't done, but we was, you know, we was getting there a few hours later. Um... Came in and he said, what's up? He shook my hand. I'm like, what's up? And I'm saying to myself, damn, he looked familiar. He was like, yo, that was me that uh, said I was coming to holler at you from Michigan. <laughs> so instantly, instantly, man, I, I, I grew a love for that dude, man, because a hey, Clarence was popping. I grew a love for that dude because, you know what I mean? He drove 12 hours from Grand Rapids, Michigan to Philadelphia to come get some work for two days, man. And that was that was love, man. That was all love. And uh, and he actually sparred. Now, listen, this is the crazy part. He, he uh, fresh off the road, pulled up to the gym, and I'm looking at him. He said he had a few fights. He got about five fights, 21 years old. We had some guys in the gym that was getting ready to, you know, spar. I'm like, yo, you feel like working? He like, yeah, I do that. I'm like, okay, I was impressed a little bit. I ain't going to lie, just with his heart. But I'm like, let me see what he going to do. He get in the ring. Now, mind you, the, 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 the minutes... We box on four-minute rounds at our gym. Everybody do it. The amateurs. Sometimes we chop it down for the amateurs, but for the most part, everybody four-minute rounds. So, young boy, get in there and do his thing. Now, one time did he ask me for some water because I'm funny about giving water in the corner. I'll tell y'all why, you know, another time, but I'm funny about giving the water. So, never asked for the water. So, I'm like, let me see if he's going to do five. And like, yo, let me get one more round. He like, the young boy that he was boxing was like, all right. I got another one. They then they locked ass that last round, man. I was very impressed with that kid, man. You know what I'm saying? And I'm glad I got to meet a good person. I mean, another dog with heart. You know what I'm saying? Only thing I don't like about the kids is dreads. I need them to cut the dreads off. That's the only thing I don't like. Everything else, he's very coachable. You know what I mean? He pays attention. And you know what I'm saying? He's consistent. He wanna work. You know what I mean? And you gotta love a guy like that. I'm curious to see if this time spent with his trainer. If he's learned anything about himself, he's had so many amateur fights and his style is so formed. I think it'll be interesting. Yeah, that's true. That's a great, that's a great observation. You know what I'm saying? A great question. But we'll see this weekend. Yeah, you know I mean, I heard Triple G is fighting in Japan too. That should be major. What's wrong with dreads? They get in the way. They get in the way. It's a lot of doing like this and trying to get the trying to get the hair out of your eyes and just cut that shit off. You know what I mean? I'm not against dreads, but for fighters, I'm against dreads. And it adds a little more weight to you, believe it or not. You cut that shit off, you know what I'm saying? Make weight easily. Rosado Mosley Jr., great fight. Um, I'm glad that fight got made. Um, Mosley Jr. Lost, lost his last fight against uh, Quigley, the Irish Olympian. But it was a great fight. I seen that kid dig deep and pull some things out of himself that I didn't think he had. Now he's fighting the warrior of all warriors, Gabriel Rosado. Gabriel Rosado, we already know, ain't backing down. He'll box you. He'll fight you. He'll do whatever. I I, I, I think this is going to be a very entertaining fight, but I think Gabe going to edge it. You know what I'm saying? Gabe might even stop him. Might even stop him, but I think it's going to be a great fight. Don't get me wrong. Appreciate you, Coach. I'll be back with, without the dress. I, and I appreciate that. No disrespect. You know what I'm saying? But the dress drive me crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, you feel me? So I, I get money, but fuck your hair burn. I'm up every day, trying to make a no way. Cap. Bro says ever beef, you gonna grab that K. Two men's in the summer, shout out my nigga Day. Sick, bro. Hit your bitch, shout out my nigga Zay. My touch bands off them grounds, dogs back in May. Riding backseat with no plays, man, you niggas gay. Back. Bro, want a couple peas, meet me at the bay. If you try some dumb shit, leave a white boy gray. I'm really different with this shit. If I up, I spray. Gang. Hey, TMM shit, nigga, y'all know what it is. Hey, hey, TLBLTYP shit, bitch. TLBLTYP shit, bitch. Hey, hey, hey.